Hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Vivek Anand. I'm the head of the Department of uh, Vascular Surgery in Jain Institute of uh, Vascular Sciences, a unit of Bhagwan Mahavir Jain Hospital in Bangalore. Uh, the prevalence of venous insufficiency and lymphatic insufficiency in the global scenario is in the range of 30% for a woman and in the range of 16 to 18% for a man. So if you extrapolate it to Indian population of 1.6 billion people, you're looking at a huge segment of uh, population who have venous and lymphatic insufficiencies and who are not being uh, addressed. And uh, if we come to the challenges uh, faced by uh, in addressing venous and lymphatic uh, insufficiencies, lack of awareness even among the medical and the paramedical staff about the various presentations of venous and lymphatic insufficiency is, is a big problem. And in our country, we are a fledging uh, unit and the number of people doing vascular surgery uh, or practicing the craft of vascular surgery is very, very minimal. And we need to improve on the numbers of vascular surgeons to reach out to people more effectively. Uh, previously, vascular surgery uh, used to be a lot of open surgeries where you used to cut open the skin or the body to gain access into the blood vessel. But now the emerging technology is essentially minimally invasive or less invasive procedures in form of endovascular where we go through the blood vessel and recreate the blood channel and re-establish the circulation with minimal or no cuts taking place inside the body. So. For the past 10 years to 15 years, this is most of the cases which needed a conventional open surgery earlier have been replaced by uh, newer technologies which have revolutionized the treatment of uh, vascular surgery and saved a lot more limbs and discomfort. Especially in uh, venous insufficiency, what we are talking about now, varicose veins is the most common uh, venous insufficiency which is usually seen. Previously, we used to, uh, the standard line of treatment for varicose vein is uh, compression therapy followed by some form of surgical correction to prevent reflux of blood happening. Now, uh, which we used to do with uh, conventional surgery of cutting open the body, keeping the patient in the hospital for 24 to 48 hours. But now with newer technologies which have come in now, you don't need to cut open anywhere. All you need is a puncture in the blood vessel just like how they do for a phlebotomy or like inserting an IV line and a device is inserted into the vein, the diseased vein and the diseased vein is obliterated either by radio frequency ablation or by laser and the entire procedure gets over in 45 minutes, the patient gets back to wearing stockings and start walking in a span of 3 hours and get ready to go home at the end of 3 hours or 4 hours. So there's a huge change in the way uh, technology has changed in dealing with venous insufficiency. The basic defect in venous insufficiency and lymphatic insufficiency, that is like swollen limb towards the end of the day or tired feeling at the end of the day is all attributed towards venous insufficiency. And uh, that is because of weakness in the veins as well as weakness in the lymphatics towards the end of the day. Just like how the body gets fatigued towards the end of the day, the veins and the lymphatics also get slightly fatigued towards the end of the day because they have to flow against gravity and towards the end of the day the efficiency is not that very effective giving rise to calf pain, calf cramps, tired feeling at the end of the day just don't feel like getting up and walking and this happens in youngsters too and all they need is a, a compression garment or a stocking which will help in modulating the venous return back to the heart as well as modulating the lymphatic flow back towards into the circulation which gives rise to significant, significant uh, symptomatic relief for the patient without the need for taking tablets or any other form of medication. Jain Institute of Vascular Sciences was started around uh, two decades ago. Uh, Mahavir Jain Hospital, the management was uh, gracious enough to acknowledge the need for developing a completely independent vascular center and we started off with a staff members of around four members and now we are around 56 members in our team. We used to uh, do around 140 to 150 procedures 
arterial reconstruction procedures a year, two decades back, and we do around 150 to 180 procedures per month over here. And the main thing about this uh, institute is there are different verticals in vascular surgery per se as such. You have the arterial vert uh, vertical, you have the venous and the lymphatic verticals as well as the diabetic foot verticals. And all the three verticals are being developed individually and with all the expertise coming and counselors as well as treatment para uh, protocols being set independently into each of these verticals and they are being functioned as a completely independent thing under the overall uh, umbrella of uh, Jain Institute of Vascular Sciences. The future with, with uh, support from uh, uh, people like you, if we reach out to the public as well as to the policy makers, especially the industries where people stand for a long time, sit for a long time, like teachers, nurses, police professional, and uh, even computer software engineers who sit and work from morning till evening without breaks, they, they need to be aware, they need to be aware that you know most of the leg pains can be easily sorted out or addressed by uh, uh, certain simple exercises as well as wearing a, a non-invasive compression garment. Thank you.